In this tutorial, we're going to model this bookshelf. So uh, let's get started. So first, uh, we want to create uh, a sphere, which uh, will be the initial geometry from which we will make the, the shelf. So I'm going to select this option sphere with center and radius. I'm going to start from here, hold shift to, to lock it. And let's approximately type 100. I think this is enough like so. Um, so next thing we want to do, we want to actually create the wall, which will cut the ball. We're going to move it in the center. And now let's see, uh, let's compare the image. So it seems that uh, this is, the ball is actually quite inside the wall. So we need to move it more, something like this. And we can actually estimate this by, by uh, having the measurement here of like 40 centimeters. I think it's not more than 40 here. So we can actually measure this. We can use line to measure 40 centimeters. And this can be our, our reference. So let's move it until that point, like so. So now we know that uh, this is the place where the ball will be cut. So I'm just gonna draw a line now from here until there. I'm gonna move it like this. I'm gonna go to perspective and I'm going to cut it. I'm, first I'm going to extrude. I'm holding Alt and Control and dragging to extrude the line. Now I'm gonna use Command Boolean Split selecting the ball and the cutting plane. So now I delete this. I don't need it anymore. Let's, uh, let's extrude this wall. I'm using command extrude curve gap. And now we don't need this anymore. We can bring this up like so. And I'm going to delete the rest. I'm going to move this to center of the wall and I'm going to move everything to the center of the plane as well. I'm typing zero, zero, zero. So it's straight there. So now let's, uh, let's see how we can divide this. So first thing I want to do, I actually want to start drawing a small rectangle. I'm gonna scale 1D and approximate that the thickness of, of the shelf is actually two centimeters. So this will be two centimeters. I'm going to position it in the middle, like so. And now I'm going to uh, move it in both, the, both directions. So let's see, 20, let's see with, 20, with 25, I'm copying it now, let's see what we get, yeah okay, so we're gonna move it a little bit, this one we need to move a little bit in, and these two, I think they can stay the same. Or actually, if you want another command, if you want to approximate, for example, from here to here, you want to divide this in three equal segments. You type divide and you put the segments three, press center. Now you have the equal segments from this line to this line. So you can use, uh, use the element to align it like so. And now they're equally spaced. Uh, now we're gonna do this is the same for the for the other side, but we're just gonna use command mirror. Select the center, hold shift, press. Now we have it here. 
Now we're gonna copy it and rotate it for 90 degrees. I'm copying it by holding Alt 90. I'm gonna move this in the middle just to check to see if it's in the middle. There you go. So now I have these lines and these lines. Uh, we're gonna select all the lines except the, the sphere. So I'm gonna hold control to deselect. And now uh, I'm, I'm going to go to the perspective mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hold Alt and Control and extrude these lines here. Now I'm going to cap them, select all and then cap. I'm going to delete here, we don't need them anymore. So now it's almost done. We just need to use Boolean split. I'm selecting the sphere, space and then selecting the cutting objects. The calculations are done. Now we can delete these. And now we just delete the spaces here. And now when we have them all selected, we just press delete. And there you go. This is our shelf. Let's compare it. There it is. Now we're just going to render it and see how it looks. So the final rendering is done and this is our result. This is the shelf we created. Hope you like this video and please share and subscribe if you haven't already.